Let's learn extruding faces in this lesson. So when you want to add the overall shape of a model, few procedures are more common than extrude. In this video, I'll show you how to pull new volume and shape out of existing polygons. So first, let me turn on my wireframe, Shift F, okay, and then I will turn on my Z model brush, B, Z, and M. And here I am in my Z model brush. So let's see how we can simply uh, do extrusion over here, extrude inwards or outwards. But uh, for this lesson, I will turn on my symmetry so I can work on the both sides. Okay. So now my symmetry is on. So what I have to do, I have to press space bar on any one of the faces here, like suppose here. And uh, what I can do here is I can go to the extrude option. Okay, and then one side poly. So it will be a single poly and one side poly. So that's what I want here. Now, if I want to extrude this part, I can click simply on it and extrude it inward or outward. Okay, let me undo that. Or I can go to this part, okay, and just click on it, drag it inward and outward. So if I extrude inward, you can see that it creates automatically the poly groups here, a different poly group color. And this can be a good starting point for a face. It can be a good, you can say, a uh, kind of a face opening over here. Maybe you can extrude this one as well or just keep it as it is. So now I am going to undo this. And let's uh, do one more thing over here is that. Uh, Let's see uh, how we can do more complicated ways that we can use the Z model brush with extrude. So I'm uh, I have already uh, used the undo over here. Now I will go to any one of these polygons, and you will see. Let me press Control W so it can change the color of it. Okay. Let me see any other color, lighter color, so it will be easier for you to see. Yeah. I think that is fine. Let me zoom in a bit here. I just want to show you one thing here. Oops. If I hover over any poly face over here, you can see that there is an orange line, like you can see this orange line over here. This orange line is basically showing you the direction where my brush is going. Like if I'm going upwards, this is the upper direction, right down and left so this direction helps you in many different ways one of the way is like helps you is for extrusion let's zoom out a bit and this time what i will do here is that i will not extrude it just like what i did before okay uh at, at this stage what i will do i will just press space bar over here Okay, and I will go to the poly loop over here. Now, what does the poly loop do? So, poly loop uh, extrudes one side poly but in a loop form. Okay, like this whole thing, this polygon is in a loop. So, depending on my direction of this, like suppose this is uh, like directing over the left side, so all the, the, the whole poly loop of but the left side, which is on the left, will be extruded. So if I will click here now and extrude, you can see that it is extruding inwards or outward the whole loop. Okay. That's what it is doing. Now, if I change the direction, suppose upwards. Now, if I will extrude, so it will extrude the whole thing. Let me do one thing here. Let me turn off my uh, symmetry. Okay, press X to turn off your symmetry. Now, this is pointing upward. So if I will click and drag, so you can see the whole loop, which is in this direction, because that was what the one which I was on when I started to extrude. So this is extruding in that direction. So this is how it actually have, uh, helps you a lot if you want to extrude the whole 
area over here. So this is how the poly loop actually helps you. Okay, let me undo that. So if I would go to any uh, like poly loop over here and click it, you can uh, press the space bar. You can see that there are uh, like you know few more options over here. Like uh, I, I was in the single poly before, then I used the poly loop over here, but it's actually too many to go over all of them and you can actually play around with them and see what they do on your own but uh, let's go to brush a radius right now this is the brush radius okay now just notice how uh, like what is my brush size at the point so it is quite smaller so if i will extrude you can see nothing is going to happen because my brush is small and nothing is coming inside this a radius. So if I will press S here and increase my brush size, and you can see that uh, this is overlap overlapping on this brush face. So if I will click here and click and drag here, let me zoom it here. Okay. So still you can see nothing is happening because I'm trying to. Uh, move this one but if i will move over here to this part and you can see there are some uh well like you can say uh, like polygon which are intersecting with my brush so if i will start dragging them in or out you can see that wherever my brush size was it is extruding that one okay so let me show you again over here with the uh, let me draw this here okay so you can you know easily understand so this area if you will see that this part this part this part and this part is actually the one which is i have it on my screen so if i go over here that is the part which was extruding inward and outward okay now if i reduce the size you can see that things going to happen like it's going to happen okay but if i will increase the size way much more up so more of the polygons are now affected with this so this is how the brush size actually works uh and it actually gives you the brush uh like radius here and with the help of that brush radius you can extrude and invert as many polygons you want so this is really uh, like related to the size of your brush radius that's why it is called extrude brush uh, like radius. Now let me undo this one and make the brush size a little smaller. Now, whatever extrude option you're using, okay, uh, a single poly or a loop, uh, poly loop or a brush radius. One interesting thing you can uh, do over here is that while you are extruding any part, okay, let me extrude the side over here so you can see that okay if i'm extruding any part over here and while i'm extruding if i will press control key on my keyboard so it will what it will do is that it will make a copy of that uh you can say poly uh like like polygon faces and when you will leave you will have an extra uh like polygon uh here so it will extract that one and when you will go here you can split them so you will have two of this and you can make as many you want by pressing control okay so here as well you have this so this is a quite interesting uh, thing that you can do that is quite uh, helpful especially when you're doing uh, like a hard surface modeling and you want to group some like if you want to create some uh, like similar uh, like faces over there so if you don't want to use this extract option here you can uh, use the poly z or uh, z bonder and then you can you know uh, kind of uh, duplicate these uh, faces and one more thing we can do over here is that if i'm uh, pulling this out uh, extruding this out you can see that it is creating an extra geometry and it is giving it a depth but if i will press shift while pulling this out what it will do is that it will not make an extra geometry it will pull only it will normally pull out this okay just like you're moving it outward 
So it has not made an extra geometry, it just have pulled it out. So this one, if I will use and you know and pull it out, you can see there is an extra geometry here. But this one does not have any extra geometry, it's all attached. So it just pulled it out without an, making an extra geometry. Here you have an, uh, it's pulled it out by making an extra geometry. So actually you have this kind of effect over here. So this is extrusion basically, and you can say this is extrusion without extra geometry, or this is just a simple pull. So it, it's up to you, whatever you want to uh, call this. And as I told you before, whenever you use the Z modeler and any option on edge or face or vertex, you will see uh, it produces different poly group colors and which will help you. Basically, it produces a poly group, okay? every time you use it so these polygroup can be used for different other purposes so now that we have got different polygroups go, going on what we could do is that we can come back into our options okay and we can do more other things over here for example if i want to use some other option here let me go to any face here space bar and now how the polygroup will help me I have here the option called poly loop and poly group. So if I will click on this one, and suppose I will, uh, I have this poly loop over here. Now, uh, there are different poly groups over here, and also there are different uh, loops over here. So normally, if I will go over here and it's showing me this direction, so if I click on it, so it will take out this whole poly loop outwards okay but and similarly if i will do over here so this is uh, what it will do okay it will uh, with the help of the direction it is pulling it out it is like not pulling it out it's extruding it outwards or inwards and this is whole on uh, one polygroup but here we have two different polygroups one is this green color and then what is this if i will go here and choose this direction and start extruding it uh, this one out so you can see that it's not extruding the whole loop it's extruding only that poly group okay so it is taking the loop and only taking the that poly group which i have clicked on so this is how the poly group will work on so if i will go on this direction so it will only pull this out this now i have as this one let me pull this out a little bit more Okay, now I have this poly loop, uh, like a uh, poly group, and I have this one. So if I will go and extrude this one outward, so you can see that it's not extruding the whole thing. It's ex ignored this one, it ignored this because these are the different poly group basically. So what this is doing, it's doing, uh, it's working on that particular poly group but it's stopping at the edges of when a new polygroup starts so that's what it is doing so as you can see this can get very interesting and you can control how this is done with the polygroups with topology and with what sorts of surfaces are facing in which direction it's too much to go over for this introductory course but i highly recommend you go and play around with all the different settings here and see what they do so uh, take your time and try different sort of like do different sort of experimentations here so and see how what kind of research you will have so we'll meet in the next lesson where we will learn more new things about especially we will see how we can bridge the holes and edges so if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you like my video please uh, click on the like button and also click on the bell icon so you can get daily notifications watch my all videos online so I can get more watch time hours this is what I need actually I need your support and thanks a lot for supporting me till now so guys uh, take care till we meet in the next class